Hi, it's Randall Grace Johnson from Group 2, Section 4 in the Computer Science class, and today I'm going to be telling you how to stay updated on Georgetown Sports. So right now, I'm on the homepage for Hoya Athletics, um, and there's like a lot of cool things that you can find and search for and um, like discover on this website. So I'm kind of just going to give you like a rundown of everything that's here on the website and just tell you like the best ways to utilize it, use it to your advantage, and find out some cool, fun facts about Georgetown sports. So if you look right here, you kind of just see a rundown of all of the sports that Georgetown um, competes in and offers. Um, in the men's sports, we have things like baseball, basketball, football, golf, lacrosse, rowing, sailing, soccer, swimming, diving, tennis, um, then track and field, and then we have similar sports on the women's side with a couple um, additions like volleyball and softball. So, um, but other than that, it's basically the same sports. Um, so yeah, so if you want to learn more about like a specific sport, like let's say we want to learn more about women's golf, we can click on women's golf, and we can see things like. Um, we just like go to the home page. We can also look at their schedule and see when they're playing, um, just like throughout the season or like when they have played and then um, games in the future. It looks like they are in the next game coming up is the Big East Championship in Kalawasi Island, South Carolina on the 22nd of this month, April 22nd, 2016. So you can see a lot of things like that if you go on the schedule. If you want to know who's on the team, you can go to the roster and see um, kind of just like where they're from and what grade they're in, things like that. Um, you can look at news um, right here and just see kind of like their biggest accomplishments for years and years back, all the way back until 2008. So it's all eight years of news. Um, you can look at the archives. Um, just different like rosters and releases and statistics of all the various years going all the way back to 2000, so 16 years of information. Um, you can go to camps, which brings up a new site. You can kind of just see different like golf camps and things that they have, opportunities that they have. Um, and then you can also go to recruits and, um, and you will come up with like a form to um, like, if you were interested in the recruitment side of the GU Women's Golf uh, team. So, yeah. Um, and then this applies for any of the sports. So, it's, like, a really cool thing that you can do if you're ever curious on anything or wanting to see a game or anything like that. Um, after this, um, one of the other cool things that you can find is... Um, Okay, yeah, so one thing that you can find is the online store. Um, and the online store is pretty cool. Um, it's kind of similar to the things that they sell in the bookshop, but it has, like, some other, in the bookstore on campus, but it has, like, some other additions there, too. And it's also just, like, a really easy medium to find it because the bookstore is really huge, and it's sometimes inconvenient um, to, like, search through the entire store looking for one specific thing. Whereas, so if you're looking for... I don't know, a lady's sock, um, then it's super, or a lady's shoe, then it's super easy to come and find exactly what you're looking for right here. And then also, um, they have a lot of sales. Like right now, they have a 15% off statewide sale, site-wide sale. Um, so that's a cool thing. And yeah, it's just like very accessible, very easy. If you're not on campus at the time and you're still looking to buy something, then this is a great way to do that. Um, it's a great way to utilize the sales, and it's just like a very user-friendly website. Um, T-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, etc., accessories. Okay, so yeah, so that's one really cool thing. And then another fun, cool thing is tickets. So if you're looking to go to, um, I guess, one of like the most popular uh, George Transport teams, and you're looking to buy tickets, um, then it's super easy to um, click on the tickets link, which you can get to from just the regular GU Hoy Sports site, um, and then come and check out tickets. So there's a few things that it tells you in the very beginning, like 
um, how the men's basketball season tickets for next season are um, taking deposits on sale now. Um, so you can find out things like that. And then you can also just search for what do we want to watch a men's lacrosse game. Um, okay, yeah, so it just tells us various things like um, single game ticket pricing is $10 for 18 plus, $5 for youth. Um, so you can get season tickets for only $30 for all home games, things like that. Um, and then it's the same, or not the same ticket prices, but um, you can find some more information for men's basketball, women's basketball, football, men's lacrosse, women's lacrosse, and men's soccer. And then here you can also find Facebook and Twitter pages and a YouTube site. So let's check out Twitter just for an example. Um, yeah, so Georgetown Hoyas. And this is just like another great way to stay updated on various sports things that George Trump's doing. So yeah, um, let me just get back to the main site. Basically, the sports website just covers a lot of information if you're looking for tickets or if you just want to learn more about the teams or if you want to buy gear or anything like that. It's a great way to figure that out. And I hope that more people will utilize it in the future.